May the peace of the Lord keep your hearts and minds to your heart dwellers. This week has been a real trial in hearing the Lord and feeling his peace. So I began by asking him, Lord, will the rapture come on the heels of the attack? He said, what if I told you yes? I'd be relieved, yet apprehensive. Did I get it wrong about us being visited with the moment of truth and the ability to see our sins? Because this has been bothering me. I'm just a little shaky on that. And I heard him say yes, but the, the thing that I didn't understand is right after that he said, as prayers come in, things change. They are ever-changing because of your intercession and those around the world. It feels like scatter bombs, Lord. My mind is just spread all over the place. He replied, you have to press in. I will help you. But it truly feels hopeless, Lord. That's just what Satan wants you to believe. Trust me, it is not hopeless. But you and all of the community need to apply more perseverance because the scattered feeling is going to increase. Truly, my heart grieves for what is soon to happen. There's no way to measure this because so many will be terrified and shocked. The sum of it will be greater than all the parts put together. I just want you to know you are in good standing with us and with me. Do not allow the enemy to insinuate anything different, to cause you to lose confidence in the moves you are making with the community. Truly my heart grieves for what is soon to happen, beloved. There's no way to measure this, because so many will be terrified and shocked. Lord, is it not possible for us to pray against this force a feeling scattered until we obtain a clear and steady mind? He answered, yes, you may pray for that. Jesus, please put my head in a bubble so I can hear you more clearly, please. It is a suffering, beloved, to feel disconnected, and I am using it to save souls. So would you please persevere for me? I will try, Lord. You are also getting pelted with overwhelm. I want you to apply my blood to your mind and to this overwhelm. So I stopped right there and I did that. And immediately I felt better and my head was clearer. He answered me, yes, that's your secret. Use it faithfully to combat this feeling. So guys, when you start getting pelted with overwhelm or distraction, use the blood the blood of Jesus, to counteract it, to protect you from this. And I prayed, precious blood of Jesus, please connect me to my spouse. Jesus continued, Claire, I want you to enjoy these days while you have them, for when the war begins, everything will turn dark. And especially what I want to say is that the trees, the aspen trees, have turned brilliant gold. It's one of the most beautiful autumns I've ever seen. And it's just magnificent. Everything is golden. The ground is golden from the leaves that have fallen. And it's so beautiful. So he said, enjoy these things now. Now you have the joy of seeing sunshine and feeling its heat. But when this war begins, everything will be dulled and darkened. Right now, you have the advantage of beautiful days, but that will not last long, so take advantage of it. Beloved, I sympathize with your state of mind. I sympathize with you because of your flesh. I know how difficult things have become for you but I am waiting for you to come and rest in my arms where I can infuse you with my strength. This indeed is temporary. Please come to me and rest in my arms and I will help you get through this.